Morning, Mike Grant, Guns Unlimited Firearms Training. Happy Thanksgiving. Can't think of a better thing to do Thanksgiving morning where everybody's still in bed. Come up here and smell gunpowder and lead burning. I'm going to do what's called a trigger reset drill here. It's five rounds. First one will be from low ready everything. Press the trigger, firearm goes off, then hold your finger back on the trigger, reset, press again, try to get the bullets close. Three, four, and five are going to be increased in speed. I'm going to do it very quickly when I go. So then I'll come back and explain a little bit. So we're going to go the first shot. Everything here is from high ready. You keep your finger back on the trigger for the <clears throat> each shot, except for three, four, and five. Notice how I picked that speed up really quick. I don't expect my bullet holes to touch. What I do expect, this is at six yards, I expect this is one and two. This is three, four, and five. I want those rounds spread out. Remember, trigger reset drill brought to you by Mike Grant Guns Unlimited. Nighthawk Custom T3 is what I'm shooting here at the Let's Go Brandon range, and I'm gonna give you an idea what trigger reset is like. The gun is empty. I will put my finger up in front of it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna cock the hammer back, step around here so you can watch my finger. I will press that trigger. I got my finger back on the trigger. Now watch how much movement goes back for the reset. That's it, right there. Trigger back, hammer back, press, right back to there. That's reset. If you don't do that, it's called slapping the trigger. When you start slapping the trigger, the rounds will go. You'll drive the rounds down. That's the tip of the day for Guns Unlimited. Practice the trigger reset drill constantly. It's a good drill. God bless. Enjoy your Thanksgiving dinner, because I sure love the smell of this smoke up here. Bye.